Hey guys, and welcome to what is going to be my very first vlog, 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 this is a vlog, ever. Um, I'm really excited because I've never actually properly vlogged before, and today I'm going to get my hair done, and I get a lot of questions from you guys about my hair, like it's probably one of my most, like, common questions that I get on YouTube and on Instagram and all that kind of stuff, so I thought I would just take you along with me to my appointment and my hairstylist is gonna just tell you guys exactly what he does to my hair. So I thought it'd be a fun first way to kind of introduce vlogging to my channel. And before we get going, I'm about ready to head out the door, but I just thought I would show you my outfit really quick, like what I'm wearing. So if you can see, you probably can't see very well, but I have on just like a knit, like a long, loose, kind of baggy knit with a T underneath my Levi's denim jacket that I'm obsessed with. Don't mind the dirty socks over there, by the way. I'm wearing my Dylan Kane wax bag, and I've just put like a little puffy ball on it. And then I just have on black tights and my black suede thigh-high boots, which are from Witchery. The knit is also from Witchery. Actually, my tights are from Witchery, too. I'm wearing so much Witchery. Um, but anyway, basically just dressing for comfort these days because I'm kind of in my last days where like my normal clothes are fitting me, like these leggings are so tight. So, um, and I know everyone got mad at me in my last video, I got, didn't show you guys my bump, so I don't know if you can really see it. I don't really have a big one yet. Um, this is like probably a really poor example, but I'm 18 weeks, so in my next pregnancy update, I'll try to show you guys a better version of the bump. But yeah, anyway. Let's get going. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit in the car about um, how I met Tom and how I know him and how long he's been doing my hair and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's go. Bear with me. Bad lighting. But I'm heading into the Balayage Salon, which is in Christchurch. It's in Addington. And I'm heading to see Tom. And Tom and I have been together. Just kidding. Um, Tom has been doing my hair for like five years now, which is crazy. I can't believe the time has gone by that fast, but I was originally recommended to this salon in 2013 because my hair was such a mess. Um, somebody had, I had gone somewhere else and had a full head of blonde foils done and it just went really badly and my hair literally was green and I just needed someone who could color correct and just get my hair back to normal because my wedding was coming up and I didn't want to be a hot mess so I came to see Tom and he had a big job to do but he totally fixed my hair and if I can find uh, before and after of that first appointment that I had I'll insert a picture so you guys can see just like how ugly my hair was before like not joking it was green and so so long like probably even longer than it is right now so that first appointment I think I was at the salon for I don't know five plus hours because a I have so much hair and B I have so much hair so anyway Tom is now the director of balayage and I again like when you find someone who does your hair and who just sort of like gets your vision you don't sort of stray at least I don't anyway he has done everything he always does everything I ask him to do like he just gets it he took my hair from that super long length after my wedding gave me a bob that was really fun I actually donated that hair which was cool um and then he just puts up with like all my impulsive decisions and then listens to me whine after I like regret it <laughs> but um anyway I love Tom and you guys are gonna meet him and you're gonna love him as well if you live in Christchurch and you want to book with him I'll put all his information and stuff down below for the salon so you can find him but yeah let's get going hi yeah so yeah color wise um I think the idea leave the blonde yeah. And some blonde, this looks really good. Yeah. I was looking at your uh, Instagram, you know, the blonde looking, like moving like this. And, like, oh and we put a lot of work into the blonde. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep it. Yeah. But do the roots? Yeah, yeah, do, definitely, definitely. So yeah. dark roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blend it in a little bit because a uh, little bit sort of faded look through here. Yeah. So I'm gonna just put the roots in and just blend it, smudge it through. Yeah. Yeah. Because I like it warm through the root. Yeah, yeah. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, nice and warm. I think it's good to... Because your skin tone. Yeah. Yeah. And will you tell them like what colors you mix to make it that color? Or... No. 
Is it because it's different for everyone? Yeah, it's a little, yeah, it's a little different. So if somebody maybe wanted, also technical thing. So if somebody wanted to just do similar to me, they just say what they want. Well, warm. I need to change that, but depends on what kind of hair color they got. So yeah, but like warm. What do I usually say? Like warm brown on the roots, and then we just balayage through the ends. That's what we usually do. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while though. Um, it's been it like a hundred years because I'm useless. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think it was. Um, is that November or December sometime? I think it was before I went to Hawaii. It's here, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I think it was before I went to Hawaii, so that would have been November. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. It's so long. Isn't it? And it's so That's thick. Good, though. Um, Still not as long as the first time I saw you. I know. Yeah, but I, it's getting longer. I told the story before of that yeah. first time yeah. um, I came to see you and how, <laughs> tra here, yeah. how tragically green my hair was. <laughs> I'm gonna do my damnedest to find a photo of that time because I think I have a before and after yeah. of that. Yeah. Do you have all the one, old photo? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I should. I, they'll be on my old laptop. Yeah. I have to find them. Because I have a... I think I have a... I have one that's a long time ago. I might delete it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was what, like five years ago. Yeah, it's been a long A really long time. Yeah, that's right. So I think I'm gonna cut a little bit of the length off today though since it's so long. Yeah. Like inch, do you say? Make maybe Even into more. there. Yeah. Just because it's feeling too long. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm it's too long. Good good amount, like yeah. 10 centimeter. Yeah. It's real crusty at the end, I think. A little bit dry. It's crusty as also pregnancy is making my hair so changing thick or something. I feel like I have more hair than I've ever had in my life, yeah. which is not good news for you. <laughs> but it does a whole body changes, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. So, yeah. No, the yeah. good, good chop yeah. sounds yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and we have to use the blonde you got. Yeah. I don't know. Should we She's touch it up a little, like yeah, just is. a little bit? Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I was gonna say, yeah. just a little freshen up. Nothing major. Yeah. But yeah, I just put some points yeah. yeah. on. Some just to freshen up. Lighten it up a little. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so I do the roots first. Yeah. And uh, just put some bit of points through it. Yeah. And okay. Cool. Yeah. Right. That's uh, your all the all the fringe. Do you know it's taken them a year to just get that long? <laughs> so we don't cut it. We leave it. Um, Why aren't they growing? I feel like it's like they've done it. Sure it's growing. They want to spite yeah. me. They're like, no, yeah. we're not going to grow. Like you cut this. We stay here now. We live here. Yeah, yeah. A year. Oh, like no. what's happening? The rest of my hair grows, but they don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. I think I'm too lazy to have a fringe. Like I. It's more maintenance, isn't it? Like you need like to grow it straight. Yeah, and I don't want to wash my hair every day. And I have, if I had a fringe, I would have to wash them every day. Otherwise, it's greasy. Yeah. 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 So I think I'm too lazy. Yeah. All right. No, that's cool. Yeah, like this thing. Sounds good. All good. Yeah. 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 Cool. We find out this week yeah. what we're Ooh, having. Exciting! Isn't it? Is it which hospital? Do you go to Christchurch Hospital or what? I've just been going to St. George's oh, for okay. my scans. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of exciting. Um, yes, so when is that? Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I gotta feel it's a girl. You reckon? Yeah. Everyone else thinks it's a boy. Is that? Everyone okay. is saying. See how it goes. <laughs> I should take bets and like. Do, do you feel like? <laughs> I felt like it's a boy the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Richie kind of does too, but. Yeah. Is he excited? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're both like nervous <laughs> slash terrified. <laughs> Big change, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Huge change. We were just sitting on the couch yeah. last night. And we're like, what are we gonna do when we have? A baby, like we will be able to just like sit yeah. here, like yeah. we'll have to be like doing things. Yeah, exactly. You're not gonna sit down and just relax. You're gonna do a change in days, and you know. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. But and you can't just quickly go out, you know, and stuff like that. You gotta organize it. Yeah. Don't you? Everything's like a lot harder. Yeah. I'm gonna get the wake up call of my life. But I mean, exciting change. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. No turning back yeah. now, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we've committed. So we have committed to the situation. Well, yeah. Um, so do you think yeah. uh, you want to take baby to the States and when she's really <laughs> little or you want to wait until you sort of, I don't know, two, one or two or... I just don't know. Mm. I feel like... Or Once I, they start moving yeah. around, it's yeah. really hard. It's not an airplane. Yes. Yeah. But Rich and I both really feel like... We know our life is going to change, obviously. Yeah. But we both really feel like the kid is just going to do what we do. Yeah. We're not going to stop being us because we have a child. Like, we still want to travel and we still yeah. want to do things and hang out with, you know, our friends. Yes. And, and I don't want to be, like, too yeah, like, precious yeah, about... Like, that. And the kid, does that make sense? Oh, like we yeah, want, yeah, yeah. we want him to just be yeah. part of our life, you yeah, know, yeah, just yeah, of course. Yeah. But so I, my, my parents actually really want to go oh, to, Hawaii. Yeah. to Hawaii next yeah. June. Oh yeah. So it's only maybe what? Five months, six months? Yeah, about six months, seven months. Yeah, eight-ish months. Yeah. Eight months. yeah. So um, if we do that, then yeah. I'll just be like, yep, let's go. Yeah. Like we're doing it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I guess the plus about doing it when he's that small is. No yeah. airfare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and hopefully they just sleep the That's whole time. That's a very good point, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm open to it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, wouldn't mind. Oh. I mean, he's going to end up traveling anyways, and he because he's she, whoever. Because of, like, you know, I'm from, from there. He's from there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we shall see. Mm. <laughs> Rich and I were talking last night. We're like, I was like, do you think he's going to call me mom or mom? And Richie was like, mom. And I was like, why? Is that like an American accent? Yeah. yeah. And he was like, well, because we're Kiwi. And I was like, but I'm not Kiwi. And I, I will say mom. Yeah. So I, I'm so curious, like, how our kid will sound. Oh, that'll be interesting. Yeah. Have, like, that'll this weird, true. funny little accent until he goes to preschool and then he talks like all the other kids. Yes, that's right. It's going to be a quite a mix-up of mm. accents. Funny, right? Yeah. Funny. Really raw. Yeah. This is a secret. <laughs> okay. Everyone's gonna copy me. Yes, you can't see. <laughs> this is a secret. You need to pay me. <laughs> you heard the man, so you have to pay him. Yeah, exactly. I would never dare do this on my own head, so. <laughs> if you have got the balls to do this to yourself, congratulations and good luck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys thinking 
uh, to do a 3D scan and something like that. You know, I uh, have some. Oh, you do? Oh, cool. Um, they're so weird. Are they extra cost? No. The, they just gave them to me. I was like, really? Oh. I thought it was an extra cost somehow. Fine. Oh, they look so strange. The 12 week ones in 3D look so weird because it still looks like a little alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look. Oh my gosh. Alien. Jeepers. Is that not the weirdest thing? Look at that. <laughs> that's alien. Oh wow. So that's like, he's got his face strung around. That is so amazing though. It's so creepy. Wow. Creepy but amazing. <laughs> Jeez. Alien. That's really cool. I know. And that was, so that was... How many weeks that one? That's 12 weeks. So that yeah. was seven weeks ago. Imagine what it looks like now. I think it's formed like a human it's, face, isn't it's it? It's fully formed now, yeah. 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 Wow. Which is also trippy. Yes. Apparently it's the size of like a big tomato at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You don't do 3D scan this time? I don't know. Yeah. Like, it would be you, quite interesting to see. I know. Yeah. When you go to St. George's, like, I did not ask for those and they just gave them to me and I was like, oh, really? cool. Oh, I'm sure we have to pay extra or something. I did pay extra for them to send me more images. Yeah, yeah. But oh. I never specified that I wanted them in 3D. She just did it. I was wow. like, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, so. Wow. I don't know. I hope they come 3D again. Yeah, yeah. It was really trippy to see. Yeah. Because my friend yeah. didn't get any. Hers are all just like the normal ultrasound looking ones. That's... So what is that? Like, I just lucky? I have no idea. Mm. Not a clue. Wow. I really don't know. What are you guys doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, I need to go to uh, uh, ice skating. The school activity. <laughs> Because Sharon's still sick. Oh boy. I really don't want to go. Oh. Anyway, yeah. Do it's you fun. have to ice skate? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Ice skating. How are you on ice skates? Pardon? How are you on ice skates? How? Are you any good? No. I can kind of speed up and then I don't know how to stop. Oh, shit. So it's always crashing into the wall. <laughs> like, hey. I go, oh, shit. <laughs> are the kids any good? Some kids are really good. Are they? Spinning, or, you know. Shit. That's like, oh my god, it's backwards. <laughs> How are you doing the backwards? <laughs> I have no idea. Where do you learn these ice skating skills? Yeah. It sounds oh. dangerous. Oh, yeah. Have I been oh, ice skating? Oh, never do it. I mean, no. you know, you, you don't want to fall down. No. Yeah. God, no. Yeah, I did a big fall down like, from the back. Bang! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Awful. Like, you always like it like this. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cool. Uh, it doesn't look cool. No? <laughs> do you want to vlog? Huh? Do you want to vlog the experience? <laughs> that'd be funny, isn't it? Oh, man. No, that'd be funny. I don't envy you. <laughs> Is your son any good? He can, he can kind of do, yeah. yeah. Instead of falling down, yeah, he's getting getting near. Where do you go? It's on the Brom Street. Uh, what do you call it? Alpine Skate Link. Yeah, Brom Street. I didn't even know Near, near Power. I didn't even know we had indoor ice skating. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I suppose you don't. You shouldn't do that. But. Probably not. No. I would be so uncoordinated. Did you rollerblade when you were a kid? I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. You know, like the roller skating rink? Yeah. Roll. Is that still a thing? Do kids do that still? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Man, that used to be the most fun though, oh, remember? Oh, such a cool thing. Yeah. We were like died to go to the roller skating rink. Yeah. morning guys so yesterday I wasn't actually able to finish off the vlog because by the time I left the salon it was super dark outside and when I got to my car there was just no way I could have shown you anything but I wanted you to be able to see the final results of my hair and just really see how good Tom is with color work um, and I'll just recap with you what we did we did so I always ask Tom to do a warm brown on my roots because I like my roots to be like extended obviously and then he went through and added in some foils with the balayage technique just to brighten up my blonde in the end 
but I'm so happy with it as always. It looks so good. The color feels so fresh and I just love it. I also cut quite a few inches off. I don't know if you can tell, but it was like down below my boob and now it's a bit shorter, which I wanted. I just felt like it was getting too long. So anyway, that's the final color. And I guess what I wanted to say is if you wanting to go for something similar, um, what you have to ask for is going to depend on what your current hair color is. Like my natural hair color is just sort of like brown, brownish, dark brown. So he just makes, I don't know what exactly he mixes. And he said he didn't want to say exactly what it was because it may not be the same for you, what you need on your hair. But I always ask for warm brown roots and then my ends are quite blonde. And I'm, I've been doing the blonde thing for a while, so my ends were already kind of blonde. He just went through and brightened it up. But you may need to ask for more or less foils depending on your current blonde situation. But I just wanted to show you. Um, and again, I will put all of Tom's information down below in the description box so that if you want to book with him or the salon itself, the other stylist at the salon, Michelle, she is also amazing. So either of them, if you book into the salon, I'm pretty sure you'll be so happy that you did. But the last thing before I go, I just wanted to show you I bought some product as well because I'm obsessed with the shampoo that they use. Um, I love the smell of it. You know when you leave the salon and your hair just has that like salon smell and you're like, I just need this forever, like I need this every day. So I picked up some product and I bought, so the product that they use, they use this um, brand called Davinus. Davinus, I'm totally gonna be saying that wrong, so never mind me. If I can find this stuff online, I will link it for you. But otherwise, if you are in Christchurch, you can just go pick it up from the salon. But the ones, so this is the shampoo and conditioner, and how cute is the packaging? So conditioner's in the square, and this is the shampoo. And I got the one that's called Minu, and this says, illuminating protective shampoo for colored hair, shampoo, Oh, that's in Italian. We don't need to read that. Um, and then, again, it's just for color-treated hair. And for me, even though I have a lot of hair, it's fine. So I really never re like want anything that's too heavy that's going to make my hair feel weighed down. And I did not wash my hair this morning. This is just... I just kind of went through with the blow dryer to give it a little volume. But you can see like how fluffy my hair still is, even being like a little bit dirty. Um, so I really love this and it just the smell is ugh, So good. I love it So fresh. It's just very yummy. And then um, I also got This which is a leave-in treatment Because I do blonde in my hair my ends have a tendency to get like really dry and kind of crunchy and yuck. so um, I use a leave-in and I got this one. So this is the all-in-one milk and it's just a spray you spray it in when your hair is wet and then just blow dry as per usual and it's a protective spray so but nice light texture on this as well he put this in my hair yesterday and again like you can see how like fluffy my hair is it's not like weighed down or anything so love this as well so I picked that up too um I think that's pretty much it I really hope you guys liked this video sorry it was in two pieces two different days but, um, again, all the info for the salon will be in the description box. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love if you hit the subscribe button. And I'll put my Instagram handle and all that stuff down below as well if you want to follow me there. But other than that, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!